all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the simple problem longest uncommon subsequence second part its index is 522 and it is a medium type problem the lead code okay so without wasting our time let's discuss this problem given an array of strings okay so let's say we begin n strings strs it should be represented in the vector return the length of longest uncommon subsequence between them okay so first we need to understand that uh, let's say string s is the uncommon subsequence among all the given strings and uh, we need to report that string's length which is longest okay longest uncommon subsequence if the longest uncommon subsequence doesn't exist we need to return minus one as our answer otherwise the length of that longest uncommon subsequence okay so we need to understand clearly that what is the uncommon subsequence between an array of strings so it is actually a string okay so which is a subsequence of one of the strings note that this is going to be like very much important an uncommon subsequence among n strings is a string that is a subsequence of one string okay exactly one string but not the others okay a subsequence is like this is the definition of subsequence if you are not aware about that just read it out once okay so we need to report it out the uh, like we need to first find it out the uncommon subsequence and then we need to report it out the longest uncommon subsequence that is the length if it doesn't exist we need to return minus one okay so moving further i will explain this problem with the help of examples also then let's look over the constraints you can see it is like very much small you can still have a like a solutions of type o of n square into m where m is the string length in worst case it is 10 okay solution get accepted so we'll be looking for a best and efficient solution for this problem so let's begin with understanding of this problem with the help of examples okay so before moving further to discuss this one it is very much important to understand the what is the longest uncommon subsequence between two strings okay you can see a list of uh, pair of strings i have written over here so you need to understand it how the longest what is the longest uncommon subsequence between two of between two strings okay so suppose that the two strings have the same length like s1 you can see over here and s2 you can see over here. this is my name so suppose this is uh, exactly same s1 is exactly matching with the s2 you can see the lengths are also same and the corresponding characters at the specific positions are also same okay now you need to figure it out the longest uh, uncommon subsequence okay so you can say that i will take uh, any random string of length 10 Okay, and say that this is an uncommon subsequence and this is not possible if you look over the definition of this uncommon subsequence it is a subsequence of exactly one of the strings but not the others okay so it should be the subsequence of either this one or either this one okay so in that case what you are going to do let's say it is a subsequence of that string which has maximum length okay so okay so not discussing it about that now uh, let's say okay so i'm talking about the those cases where s1 is exactly matching with the s2 first okay so suppose if we choose out any subsequence of this s1 okay so let's say this is the like any subsequence of s1 and this is the uncommon subsequence now since s1 is exactly equal to s2 it is always obvious that uh, that subsequence will always be existing in s2 so it is not possible to choose any of the subsequence of this s1 which is not pre present in s2 so whenever s1 is exactly matching with s2 that is the string s1 is coinciding or you can say the corresponding characters at the specific positions are matching we can say that our answer in this case is minus one note that i am talking about the concept of only two strings here we are not having the array of strings okay so when the two strings are exactly same our answer in this case will be minus one okay so minus one okay now the comes the case where the two strings are not uh, like equal okay you can see the s1 is sunny and s2 is aman okay so in that case what we we have to choose uh, a subsequence from either s1 or s2 right and that subsequence should be an uncommon subsequence and that subsequence length should be maximum okay since the lengths are not matching what we are going uh, what we are going to do is like let's choose the that string which has maximum length you can see s1 is of maximum length right if s1 is of maximum length let's say this is the longest uh, not saying it as longest right now let's say this is the uncommon subsequence okay 
so according to the definition of uncommon subsequence it is a string which is a subsequence of exactly one of the strings and not present in all the other strings right you can see that if i will choose s1 as our uncommon subsequence as a subsequence then its length is like greater than this length of s2 note that i am talking about strictly greater than tau since s1 length is strictly greater than s2 length it is always obvious that s1 like if we choose a subsequence that is matching with s1 then it is always possible that there does not exist a subsequence which is existing in s2 okay how is that possible let's say our subsequence s is sunny this is my name and let's say this one okay what i have done is like i have chosen the entire thing like uh, my subsequence is exactly matching with the string s1 and s1 is uh, s1's length is greater than s2 length now if you try to find out this string like if you try to find out any subsequence from s2 which is matching with this s equal to sunny it is not possible since the s so like this s length is greater than s2 length okay so in other words you can easily say that uh, i will choose uh, my subsequence which is exactly equal to that string which has maximum length among those two strings okay so in this case i will choose sunny so with this is our answer answer should be 5 now comes the case of this one we need to choose a subsequence which is present in one of the strings but not in another string right so we will choose that string which has maximum length if i will choose this string you can see then if i will try to find out the if there exists a subsequence in s1 which is matching with s2 you can see it is not possible because uh, uh sorry i think i have uh, said in reverse like if my subsequence is s2 okay and i am checking it out if there exists a subsequence in s1 which is, uh, which is which is matching with s2 right you can see that s2's length is already greater than s1 length so where there does not exist any subsequence and s1 length is 5 and s2 length is greater than 5 you can see so in that case our chosen subsequence having the maximum length which is uncommon is the length of s2 let's say what is this 3 3 6 and 2 8 so our answer in this case is 8 now comes the main question what we have to do in the array of strings let's try to understand that now in case of array of strings let's say we have string s1 s2 s3 s4 okay and let's say s1 length is around 10 s2 length is around also 10 and s3 length is around 9 and s4 length is around 8 okay so in case of array of strings like in the previous one if we have the like uh, only two strings then we need to check it out if the strings are equal then our answer would be minus 1 otherwise our answer would be maximum of length of uh, first uh, max of l comma r where l, r, l is the length of string 1 and r is the length of string 2 okay now in case of array of strings what we are going to do is like we need to choose uh, uh longest uncommon subsequence as we have already studied previously that the longest uh, uh, like let's say uh, uncommon subsequence is among any of the two strings right uh, okay so let me how i'm going to explain is like in the previously we have sunny and uh, we have let's say aman you can see that uh, our answer is is like this one longest uncommon subsequence and in in another case we have aman replacing as lakshman okay so in that case our answer is like lakshman okay so you can see that our answer is among uh, one of the two strings which has maximum length so it gives us the idea that for the case of array of strings our answer is among any of these array of strings okay and uh, what is the most optimal case to start your iteration okay the most optimal case to start your iteration is from the maximum length okay why from the maximum length you you can see that i need to find out the longest uncommon subsequence and our answer is lying among any of the array of strings okay so we would be starting from that string which has maximum length among all the array of strings okay now suppose we have picked it up this one like let's claim that s1 is our answer that is s1 has the maximum length right now and s1 is the longest uncommon subsequence okay so according to the definition of uncommon subsequence it says that this subsequence must be a uh, subsequence of exactly one of the strings and must not be the subsequence of rest of the strings right since we have chosen this entire s1 as our long uh, uncommon subsequence 
like we have already done this condition we have already fulfilled this condition subsequence of one of the strings like we have already fulfilled this condition because uh, our chosen subsequence is exactly matching with s1 okay now we now we need to check it out that for the rest of the strings this s1 should not be a subsequence right so for the case of s2 s3 s4 we need to check it out right now there is some little bit optimization while we are doing the checking is that uh, 9 and 8 have the length which is less than the length of s1 now length of this is 10 and length of this is 9 and 8 and we need to search for a subsequence among s3 and s4 of length 10 which is not possible because 9 and 8 has the value which is less than 10 so there is no need to check for those strings which has length strictly less than the current length of s1 okay so this is the tricky part otherwise we need to check it out for all those strings which have the length greater than or equal to the current chosen array current chosen string which is now 10 okay suppose in a furthermore case we are going to have let's say f0 is another string and it has a length equal to 10 okay now let's say we are claiming that this f0 is our common subsequence and uh, since we are starting from the like from the that string which has maximum length and if we are able to say that this is all uncommon subsequence then we will return this like the current string length as our answer since we are iterating from the maximum length this is our most optimal answer okay so if i will claim that this is our uncommon subsequence and if uh, it holds true then we are going to return its length then which of the strings do i need to check it out since this length like all all those strings length here over like s3 and s4 has the length is strictly less than this s0's length which is 10 there is no need to check these strings okay so we would be checking only s1 and s2 and what we are going to check we would be checking whether if s1 is a subsequence of s0 then this is not possible or if s2 is a subsequence of s0 this is not possible otherwise uh, all it is possible okay now there may exist a string of length let's say 11 in that case you need to check it out whether s0 is a subsequence of that string whose length is 11 or not okay if uh, all these uh, like all these whatever i have explained seems difficult to you no need to worry about let's understand more uh, concepts in adequate detail while we are doing the coding part let's move further okay so you can see the problem like uh, we have a runtime of 0 ms and faster than 100 percentage of cpp submissions you can see i have done the optimization so let's look over the code how it is being done okay so what i've done is like first i've sorted the array of strings on the basis of their length okay why i've done this because so whenever i will start checking from the starting one like that string which has maximum length and it is an uncommon subsequence then here our answer exists because so i will choose that subsequence like exactly matching with the current string and the rest of the strings are not the subsequence of my current string then this will be our answer as it is okay so we will start from the beginning and we will iterate up to that string uh, you can see let me just read out the conditions okay i will start for every string starting from the maximum length and i will check it out for those strings which have you can see this condition being holding strs of j length is greater than equal to strs of i length okay so strs of i which is our current claiming subsequence let's claim that strs of i is the uncommon subsequence we need to check it out that the rest of the strings uh, uh, like uh, rest of the strings must not have a subsequence matching with this current strs of i okay note that we need to check only those strings which have length greater than equal to the current claiming subsequence length why because uh, if we choose that string which has lesser length there is no point of getting a subsequence having the same length as of current one okay that's why we have just checking it out those lengths which are greater than or equal to and uh, if i not equal to j that is the we are not choosing the same subsequence as of now and this condition holds that is the current string that is being chosen and uh, we are iterating for all those strings that it needs to be checked is a subsequence then we are going to done with this like go to h it means that this is not possible for the uh, getting this uh, uncommon subsequence because you can see that uh, the uncommon subsequence should be a subsequence of one of the strings that is we have already chosen that string but not the others and if, if 
it is a subsequence, there is no possibility of this string to be an uncommon subsequence. Okay, that's why we have to get otherwise, uh, that is, if all this condition holds true, we'd be returning the maximum length right now, which is our answer. And if all these happens and we are not getting any answer, return minus one, which is uh, stating that this is not possible. So this will give you 0 ms and faster than 100% CPP submissions. So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video. And uh, I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.